Well, Gregor, man, it's still fresh. You just walked out of the octagon, but you've been showing a little bit of emotion since yeah, then. Can you kind of me, they get... put me in a wheelchair and scooted me over here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My legs are super tired. That was a that was a hard one. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, that was kind of like I kept yelling at the end. It's a lot. Of, it's all heart. I'm all heart. And uh, I just told my coaches on the way over here, like, in, the, in between that first and second round, I, I, I was tired. I don't know. They said I was, you know, doing a little bit of this. I think I was more tired than anything. I don't think I was really hurt. Mm -hmm. But if I had to do three rounds like that, so be it. Huh. I, it wouldn't have been pretty. But I wasn't going to quit, so the only way it was run, Adam was he was going to quit. And, and I, it, what, what made it so difficult? I mean, obviously, it was a fast pace. It was a super what? high pace. Um, I mean, I don't know what he weighed today, but he wasn't small. Uh, you know, I think there were, I don't know, you tell me, five or six takedowns between the two of us in the first round. Mm -hmm. A couple escapes, uh, a couple rolling reversals. Caught me in that bad position where I was at the end of the third or the end of the first round. Uh, and I walked back over the corner, and in my head, Keith, my coach, calmed me down, and he said, go back out there, stay basic, get to the legs, go under his punches. And uh, I, I don't, was that the only takedown I had to get that round? I, I don't really, yeah, so I made him quit. Hmm. But it was a, there's a little bit of a, potentially a, an adrenaline dump too, just because it did seem like, I mean, you know, especially yeah. you talking afterwards, that, that you were emotional. Oh my God, man! I was crying in the other room, man. It was like there's so much. You might make me cry again here, man. There's so much, not just like work that goes into that physically. I think you know, every fighter works hard. It was just like having a fight canceled before this, having my last performance be the knockout against Kevin Lee. Me, you know, me on the receiving end of the knockout. Uh, and, you know, I think I always believe in myself. You know, Keith. He'll tell you I walk around the gym with my chest puffed out, and but you never know. You know, it's like it's been a year and a half since I last fought. It's been two years since I had a fight that I won. Mm -hmm. You know, can I still beat these guys? Can I still do it? And it's you know, it's easy to say you can still do it when you're beating everyone in the practice room. There's nothing on the line. There's no nerves. There's no weight cut. There's no way in. There's no fight day nerves. There's no warm up. There's nothing. So uh, it was just. And, you know, these guys are like my family, man. It went in and seen those guys excited and coming in the cage at the end. I don't know if it gets better than that. So are you over those feelings now moving forward? Is this fight <laughs> man, kind of look, You seem like I'm over these you? feelings. I don't feel like I you know, <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. But you think next time you walk in, you'd be like, I, I know I belong here. I just beat yeah. the, the number 12 guy. Yeah, I think this is a special one. You know, it's like everyone remembers my last one, me getting beat by Kevin Lee. And then I came back to make my return against Riddell, and it got canceled the day of. You know, it's a special one. Yeah. I'm curious because, uh, you know, you, you didn't fight in 2020. This was your first experience, you know, not in fighting yeah. in front of a crowd. He's got a loud coach, too, yeah, who was saying does. you were panic wrestling, you were tired. You know, what, what was it like fighting? That's not panic wrestling. There's no such thing as panic wrestling. <laughs> that's me putting a pace on that maybe I'm not even comfortable doing, as you can see. I, I didn't feel good. And, you know, I told two people already, you know, I, they're like, you look tired. I said, I was tired. Mm. And that, so was he. You know, there's, sometimes you got to throw yourself under the bus and throw yourself into the fire just to create that, that storm to catch the other guy, you know. And like you saw it, mm. I, I ended up on top at the end, and he, wouldn't, he stopped trying to get up off bottom. Yep. What was that atmosphere for you, like for you, though, fighting in front of no crowds? And then, and like I said, hearing his coach talk through that whole thing, did, were you aware of it? And yeah, I mean, I've like? heard his coach a couple of times, but I hear my coach. I hear Keith. I mean, it's like something that, like, the same thing when I was a kid and I was wrestling, I could hear my dad in, like, our, our arena, Detroit, and Auburn Hills Palace, at Auburn Hills, Michigan, on 20,000 fans, I can hear my freaking dad yelling from the stands, not in the lower bowl. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things that you just hear, you know. And I'm sure I heard his coach. I don't remember what he was saying, but I, I hear Keith. Yeah. I heard him at the end. I just told him walking down the hallway. You know, when I got him flattened out at the end with the hooks, and I heard him screaming. I didn't know how much time was left. It's not like I could look up and try to see from that. Finish the fight. Short time. You've got 30, whatever it was, you know. And I heard that, you know. And that's yeah. when, I, all right, oh, he sees something that I don't. I, maybe I didn't feel him totally quitting at that point. And when I heard him say, finish the fight, I said, okay, yep. it's time to, to really lay it on here. Last thing for you, and I know that uh, you know you've said you just want a guy who's ranked ahead of you. That's all you want. Yeah. Um, you're the one who keeps bringing up the fact that you're 34. I don't feel like anybody else is. Yeah. You are. Are you putting the pressure on yourself to like I, mean, I got to be perfect? I, right I'm now? not going to fight forever. I'm not going to be a 40 year old guy fighting, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, you know, I, I got some stuff I want to do still that requires, you know, being somewhat young. You know, I'm not saying I have to be a spring chicken, but. You know, I'm not going to fight. Listen, I, I can't say that. Maybe if I'm 40 and I'm world champ and I'm getting millions of dollars every fight, yeah, of course, you're going to tell me I can't fight. Sure, I'll, I'll still fight. But, yeah. you know, I do want to have a, I want to have a family after this. And, you know, 
it's something that I'm interested in doing when I'm still relatively young, yeah. you know. So I got some goals. I still, I'm not saying I'm done this year. I'm not saying I'm done next year. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be 40 with fighting when I'm 40, though. That's that's all I'm saying. And I think you know this is the time to make a run at it, mm -hmm. especially with that win. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a big one, and we're looking forward yeah. to seeing what's Thank next you. for you, man. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.